So, it was announced a week or so ago that Naomi Campbell is being sued, but apparently she is having none of it. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button, guys, for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Morali. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Let's just get straight into this quick fire video. I'm meant to be hosting today, but I'm so tired. And maybe it was the espresso, I don't know, but I feel so tired. Maybe it's the come down from the espresso. But anyways, Naomi Campbell, it was revealed that, that she was being sued by her ex-lover Vlad um, for millions of dollars. But apparently, Naomi Campbell sued him way before he sued her. Campbell filed papers in London in February and is currently in arbitration to get some of her things back that are in his possession. A source who knows the model told the Post she's been asking for these things back for years, but they've had no recent conversation and then he went and did this. Campbell, who is currently in Europe, is not furious about her former actions. It's really the other way around. In documents filed in New York Supreme Court on September the 4th, seen by the Post, and Vlad claimed that Campbell has refused to return his personal property, which he valued at more than $3 million. Um, what more could a jet-setting jet billionaire need? A friend of the former couple who dated for five years starred in 2008 and said, it just can't be about the cash, it's about the game, it's about a power thing. Campbell, now 50, has always had a thing for power. The supermodel has been involved with some of the richest men in the world, um, Okay, maybe it is a power thing. Um, and apparently one of Naomi Campbell's friends ended up now dating this Vlad guy that Naomi um, used to see as a friend and she kind of introduced her to him. Now they're both dating, so it's a bit of a snaky thing for her to do, whoever this girl is. Um, but at the same time, she's actually suing him. I don't think it's a, maybe it is a power play thing. Maybe that's why, but at the, at the end of the day, she, he has possessions of hers and she wants them back. So it was reported that she was being sued, but the gag is she's sued him months beforehand but it's funny that that didn't hit the surface of the media and nobody spoke about that but this has become public attention but that didn't i find that to be very weird but she's having none of it and she is suing him um, and also there is a mysterious girl who was involved um, her name is leo zillin the model who actually led to the split with campbell she apparently was the one who got involved in their relationship and so forth so she messed that up and maybe this is a power game and maybe it's a game between them both and not really a money issue because both of them don't really need money but this is where that person is coming into it who knows um interesting as for campbell she was last year said to be dating one direction member liam payne who is 27. a source who knows campbell threw water on the rumored fling however saying i know that the entire liam payne thing was a fiasco he just used her name for publicly and it felt like some pr stunt on his part something that was mildly flattering just because a joke that eventually really annoyed her i think if you get in the middle of her relationships you just you could just get squashed it's not a good place to be interesting so it seems that maybe Liam Payne was using her at the time. This is what some PR people are saying. I don't know, like a PR stunt, like I saw his clothes. I don't know, child. But let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this. It's a mess. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.